So number nine, after the consent, a committee is made to to help raise the required amount for the wedding. So this committee is made after the consent. Without the consent, the committee cannot be made because it will be useless. Mm -hmm. So the committee is a, is a, is a part, uh, the part of committees are those who are your friends. Most of them must be your friends because the more friends you have, the bigger the committee because the issue of the committee is to fund the wedding process praise be to god so make sure you have enough friends to form the committee praise be to god number 10 look for those who will stand with you on that day there are your young friends <laughs> start preparing for everything required know each position during the wedding talk to those with cars to assist you on that day so make sure the Page group, a page group, a boys and a bridegroom, a, 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 a brides, a maid, all of them are ready. Praise be to God. So this is the part you look at. Uh -huh. And whatever the suit you're going, the color of the suit or the color the maids will wear. So this is what you discuss, both of you. And then you conclude. And then everything is ready, prepared. Mm -hmm. And look for the person who is going, a tailor, who is uh, cheaper to uh, do the work without co maybe being very costly. Number 11, if the money is not enough, have a pre-wedding to boost the cash. Prepare small cards with currency amount and ask members of the church or friends to assist you with the money. So this pre-wedding helps to boost um, a, um, a cash to, for you to be able to do the wedding. Praise be to God. So this uh, prepare for a pre wedding if the money you have is less praise be to god so number 12 of discuss with your loved one where you will wish to stay the rent you can afford at the time praise be to god so where you stay where you are a bachelor there you are known so you have to shift from that home house to another one whereby you are not known praise be to god so that where you are not known there you can grow with your loved one praise be to god and make sure sh that both of you agree because if one of you agrees and the other one doesn't agree then it will be a blocking a blocking stone to your marriage praise be to god number 13 if starting a business uh, what kind of business are you willing to start for her? Remember, the man is already working. Praise be to God. So as a man, we said that you must be working. Praise be to God. Because you are the man of the house. Praise be to God. Adam was working before Eve came. So my brother, my sister, I want you to know that well, before you marry, you must be working as a boy. Praise be to God. But for the lady, you can be working or not. That's, that is up, your opposite optional on your side but for the boy you must be working praise be to god because whatever is required you can chip in with the money you get at end month praise be to god number 14 discuss of how many children you desire to have come up with how many and duration of each so here you discuss with your partner how many children you desire to have if you want three four maybe one or you, the one the many you want praise be to god but whichever way may you agree so and the duration of each child praise be to god number 15 know your partner's desire food they like favorite color what they like doing during leisure time when you know this and more about your partner then this grows a, a bond between both of you that you trust one another and you care about each other praise be to god number 16 discuss the names you will call your newborn babies in these names you will agree that uh, for uh, the first boy will be named after the man's uh, father uh, if it is a second boy it will be named after the f uh, w uh, the girl uh, the wife's uh, father praise be to god but if it's a girl the first born is a girl or the second born is a girl then the name of because she's the first one she, she'll be called the mother of the boy and if it is the 
the girl, second girl is born, she'll be called the mother of the wife. Praise be to God. So this, uh, you need to know that because uh, the man comes first and then the woman comes in second. Praise be to God. So discuss the names you, you will call your newborn babes. But what I want to tell you is that if you call names that has uh, tabbed uh, traditionally, then I'm here to tell you that the spirit behind those names will destroy, disturb the child. So look for the names that are godly to name the child. Praise be to God. Number 17, the school to attend. Make sure you, uh, if you are looking for a uh, big uh, schools, these little big schools that uh, deal with a uh, big education, or you look just for normal school, whichever school you decide for the child to go, you need to work, start working on it and start saving for the school. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. So you discuss on that, the school the child will be going to. Praise be to God.